नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका अपने चैनल मनोज गुप्ता अकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों आज हम लोग क्लास सेवेंथ के जनरल साइंस में लेसन नंबर वन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड अडेप्टेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन इस लेसन का एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं सो so, फ्रेंड्स अभी तक आप लोगों ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल लाइक कीजिए और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए दोस्तों आप लोग इस वीडियो को अच्छी तरीके से देख करके अच्छी तरीके से सुन करके भी इसके क्वेश्चन आंसर बाहर कर सकते हैं यह लेसन नंबर वन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड अडेप्टेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन उसका एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड माई मैच यहाँ पे हमको मैच करना है द एंसर इज फर्स्ट लोटस अडेप्टेड टू लिव इन वॉटर सेकेंड एलोय Adapted to live in deserts. Third, cascata. Pastoral roots of absorption of food. Fourth, Venus flytrap. Flower and leaves attract insects. Now, next question. Question number two. Read the paragraph and answer the following questions. This is the paragraph A. Why is my skin white and thick? And why is there a thick layer of fat underneath? The answer is penguin lives in extremely cold polar region. The region is always covered over with ice. It has thick skin with thick layer of fat underneath because it does not allow the body heat to escape out. Due to white color, it can mix with the surroundings and cannot be easily located. This way, it seeks protection against the predators. Now next, second, why do we live in flocks sticking close to each other? The answer is. By staying in a flock, one is protected against the attack from predators. It becomes easier for parental care. Also, by sticking to each other, the body heat is not lost to the surroundings. Now, next third, which geographical reasons do I inhabit? Why? The answer is penguin stays in polar region, especially in the Antarctic region. There is abundant food available for the penguins, and thus they are seen here. Now, next fourth, which adaptation should you have to inhabit? able you to live permanently in the polar region why the answer is in order to permanently inhabit in the polar region the body should be adapted to cold temperature there should be thick layer of fat and thick skin to protect the body the ability to regulate body temperature should be extremely good for the survival now next question question number 3 who is lying first cockroach i have five legs the answer is Cockroach is lying. Cockroach has six legs. Now next, second hen. My toes are webbed. The answer is hen is lying. Its toes are not webbed. Now next, third cactus. My fleshy green part is a leaf. The answer is cactus is lying. Its fleshy and green part is a stem. Now next question. Question number four. Read each of the following statements. Write a paragraph about adaptation with reference to each statement. First. There is extreme heat in desert. The answer is the living organism residing in extreme heat of desert so appropriate adaptation in their structure of body and their life processes. Camel shows many adaptation like modified legs, eyes, nose and the hump on the back. Rats, snakes, spiders and lizards escape the heat of the sun by remaining inside the burrows during daytime. Plants like different species of cacti have a specially modified body structure with which they survive in the extreme heat too. Now next, second, grasslands are lush green. The answer is the water availability is ample in grasslands. Therefore, there is a plenty of grass and shrubs. The fibrous roots of grasses hold the soil particles and prevent soil erosion. In equatorial region, there is less green growth due to sunlight and abundance of water. Due to plant cover on all the sides, grasslands look less green. Now next, third, insects are found in large numbers. The answer is insects adapt to any kind of habitat. Some insects can fly. They have adaptation like light bodies. Two pairs of wings which help them in flying. Some insects are also aquatic. Some stay near water bodies. Some are in desert too. Many have ability to camouflage with environment and thus they escape the attention of predators. They can reproduce in large number. Due to all such adaptation, insects are found in large numbers. Now next, fourth, we hide. The answer is some of those hide are weak organisms. 
in order to seek protection from enemies they hide in their habitats the coloration of their body mixes with the surroundings and thus enemies do not see these hiding creatures some of them hide also for catching prey chameleon garden lizard can change color rapidly and become unnoticeable this helps them to catch their prey easily now next fifth we have long ears the answer is long ears are seen in herbivores they have to be alert from the attack of predators carnivore they can move their ears to locate the approaching prey in case of such danger they run away in a herd having long ears is an adaptation to escape from enemies now next question question number 5 answer the following first why is the camel called the sheep of the desert the answer is first the skin of a camel is thick second the legs are long with cushioned sole third there is a fold of skin for protection of nostrils fourth the eyelashes are long and thick and thus they protect the eyes fifth fat is stored in its hump due to which it can survive for a long time without water sixth due to all of such adaptation camel become most suitable to walk in the desert thus it is used as a means of transport and is called sheep of the desert now next second how can the plants like cactus and acacia live in desert with scarce water the answer is first cactus and acacia are plants that grow in desert they show adaptation to survive in the scarcity of water second cactus does not have leaves leaves are modified into thorns therefore water is not lost by evaporation through leaves third the stem takes up the function of photosynthesis and hence turns fleshy and green fourth there is thick layer of waxy substance on the stems fifth roots of these plants penetrate deep down into the soil in search of water sixth all such adaptation help the cactus and acacia to survive in desert with scarce water now next third what is the interrelationship between adaptation of organism and their surroundings the answer is first adaptation are the changes that take place in the structure and function of the body second this modification in various organs and life processes help the organism to live feed reproduce and create new generation third they also help in the protection of the organism against the predators fourth depending upon the habitat and its geographical condition the organism acquire corresponding adaptation now next fourth how are organisms classified the answer is first animals and plants are classified according to their characteristics second for this the detailed study of these organisms is done third based on the basic similarities and differences the organism are classified into groups and subgroups fourth the hierarchy is formed depending upon these features fifth in this way the organism are placed in suitable groups and classification is achieved so friends aaj hamara yahan pe lesson number 1 ka exercise complete hua friends aap logo ko ye video kaisa laga aap log comment box pe zarur likh kar ke bataiye is video ko zyada se zyada like kijiye apne friends ke sath share kijiye taki unko bhi question answer mil sake aur is channel ko subscribe kijiye namaskar dosto